beautiful sunrise. Oh no, don't drop your phone. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back to channels. Literally morning. Woke up today at five, slept for one and a half hours, drove straight to spa from the Nurburgring, and now we are here for the 24 hours of spa in Citroën C1, as mentioned previously. Now, this video is actually shot today, right now, for you yesterday and published today. So tonight, on Saturday, what is it, the 29th or something, we will start with the race. So if you happen to be near Belgium, near Spa, come over, it's free of charge. You can just uh, hop in, to come and visit us, support us. We'll be at pit box number 42 with a team of Dot Racing. Told you already a lot about the car. It has between 75 to 80 horsepower. Uh, we'll be with four people, so plenty of driving time, lots of fun, and basically what right now is going to happen we're gonna have our first training session so let's get ourselves ready hop in the car and do some driving most important thing massive shout out to all the sponsors of mine who have donated for me to support this race to make it happen that's the difference between a gt3 racing and something like that just use a bit of a crowbar pry bar and make sure that the bumper doesn't run against the, the, the wheels The best part about racing this weekend, because it's a Dutch team, and me being Dutch, being Nederlands, yeah, I've been Nederlands, yeah. And get Chokemel, we're gonna have Kibbling later, and all the like the childhood memories of the greatest cuisine. Just finished the practice, the free training. In the 15 minutes that, that I drove, we had two times red flags. People we just absolutely sending it. It's it's a mayhem. And I remember last year, no, sorry, 2019 when I drove the race, out of 150 cars or 156 cars that started, more than 50 didn't finish. Because it's just gonna be destruction derby. Yeah, it's quite interesting, quite interesting. So, I think we're gonna do like technical checkup, sign up for the race, and most importantly get lunch, and that's kinda it for today's video. Nice. There's that one guy already waiting for lunch. Mm, tomato soup, egg salad. Croquette with mayonnaise, like that. But the best is still to come, but I think it's tonight. Kibbling, waiting for that. After lunch, it's time to do something important, uh, namely technical checkup, technical commission. Scrutineering is the more official term in motorsport, of course. So we're gonna check if uh, all the safety systems are there, if we don't have all of a sudden flat six turbocharged. I don't think it would fit, but yeah, who knows? Make sure that the brake lights are working, that the rain light is working, also new, and the big light as well, as you can see. I'm sure we'll be fine because the team has been racing for the last, I don't know, five plus years. Just a formality, and then we're gonna go for one more practice session. Did you film the, the sticker being placed? Yes, I got because it. Because just in case we go too fast, with like 500 kilometers per hour on the camel straight, and the sticker comes up and they say like, oh, you were not in the technical commission. Okay, let's stop talking nonsense. One thing that I want to say is that we have multiple classes. So we have the C1 European class. We have also, no, this is by the way, C1 Belgian class, because the difference that you can see is that they have ventilated brake discs here and a couple of other mods. Uh, and then we have the C1 European. So we have the Dutch people, the Italians and some others. And then you have also Deutsche Vos, the C2. And they have four different classes. Uh, there's basically nothing left of the ugly duckling of the 2CV uh, car and they are actually the fastest because as you can tell it's quite an interesting appearance interesting car another thing is that in 2019 when I was participating there were 156 cars 
and now last year since last year they banned UK participants because it was too crazy people were people were literally driving drunk and high and sometimes with pit stops the driver changes people would be just like fall out of the car puking it was horrible yeah so after a couple of years the organization says maybe it's not really um, uh, responsible such kind of behavior so they banned the UK drivers and they reduced the maximum amount of participants from the 156 like I said before it was pretty much unlimited maybe to I believe around 100 so it's not going to be as crowded on the track but still quite fun quite fun <laughs> that was phenomenal because now by the second stint I was getting a lot more confidence in the car I knew that it didn't have to break many corners I could take them flat or just use the lift to like steer in so I could get a bit of lift off oversteer it was really amazing the team is now doing some final checkups so uh, like checking the brakes checking some other things so tomorrow we can start with the qualifying and then of course also the race I'm very confident, I'm very excited and I think that's kind of it for today. We still need to do briefing but I'm not going to bore you with that uh, but I will show you probably some food chat that we're going to have for tonight and maybe some Porsches because there is some supportive series happening right now but who cares about those because we have them plenty tomorrow it's all about the C1. So as mentioned, I really hope that some of you will make the trip here. Also check out the video description for the live timing. There will be no live broadcast. And I uh, hope to see you here. Uh, and I will also be posting stuff on my social media. So give me a follow on Instagram for stories. And see you then. Bye bye. Now that alone is worth driving it 24 hours. And of course, there's also dessert. Half lip. I think so. I'm gonna be probably half a minute a lap slower tomorrow after eating this much, but it was so good. Two final things I wanna say. I will not be making a vlog of the race because that's gonna be Adrian's job, which will follow, I don't know, maybe later next week, the, the final video. Uh, so tomorrow th there's going to be a very special onboard in uh, memory of uh, Sabine Schmitz, actually. The second thing uh, is 
Racing is expensive. No, I'm not going to ask you to donate and to sponsor. I already asked you to do it, but I want to say that actually this racing series is so affordable for everything, arrive and drive, for a team of four per driver, I was paying slightly more than 3,000 euros. Yeah, and usually this is the price that you pay for like one stint at the Nürburgring. And this is for the full weekend, for uh, three practice sessions, qualifying, catering, driving the actual 24 hour race, six hour of driving time, and lots of food, one more time. Oh, that's why every time I'm like, yeah, this is such a highlight to end the year on. Okay, um, thanks for watching again. I hope to see you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, see you then. Otherwise, on the channel, in the comment, or on social media, yada, yada, yada. <sighs> I need to get some rest. Uh, but first briefing.